Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And today is an episode of M Scrap Busters, and that is a weekly challenge on my channel where I help you use up some of your scraps um, and just, you know, not throw them away. We're going to use them. Uh, today we are going to make all kinds of windows, any size, and we're going to make pockets, tags, and frames, and they're going to be great for our journals. So any size window, pockets, tags, and frames from scraps, M Scrap Busters challenge today. And here is my little prototype, the little first thing that I made, just to make sure that it didn't look like trash before I showed it to you. <laughs> Before I made one, I wanted to make sure it didn't look like, you know. So here is my little, every bit of this is scrap. The only thing that was new is the little die cut. All of that is scrap. This little ticket or tag, library card tag, comes from one of our digitals on scrapbookingwithme.com, the Library Cards and Vintage Ephemera Digital Pack. And I just backed it with some scrapbook paper and put a little tab at the top. And then I backed this pocket with some brown uh, paper bag roll. Listen to that. And it's also dyed too, so very cute, very vintage. I love this one. I also, on this one, stamped there with one of my alpha stamps that I have in my stash. A little bit of script stamping, just kind of abstract on there too. And you get a little bit of a glare just because that's glossy. And then a couple of my papers, my scrap papers were glossy. But that right there is vellum. So you can use vellum if you want, like I have here. Or you can use acetate sheets like here, just clear acetate. Or you can even use, this is wax paper. So I want to use this a couple of times and the acetate a couple of times and then maybe that one more time. But that was a pocket and I'll show you how I made that. And then we're, like I said, we're gonna make tags and frames too. So if we wanted to make um, a frame, you know, sometimes in die cut packs you get the frame. Well, there's nothing in the middle so you would have to add your own window of some sort. So today I'm going to show you how you can make your own frame, put you a little focal point die cut there behind that. Very pretty. So these came to me when I was um, trying to <laughs> think of how to use those, these thingies. And they're going to fall out for me these little junk mails y'all are always loving some junk mail stuff and i was thinking about that and i thought you know what what if we wanted to make a window bigger than what's on the junk mail envelope well see these this one looks just like what you would get off of a junk mail envelope well what if we want to make a bigger window so i'm going to cut off that piece and then this is about, let's see, I should have looked. That's about four and a half inches. Let's make another piece about four and a half inches. So we've got almost like a square piece of vellum there. And let's build a pocket around this. So this is the exact same way I made this one. I'm just going to make this one square instead. And that does not look like I cut it correct because <laughs> I didn't it was a little off okay so four and a half by four and a half so a square one I'm just going to <clears throat> reach into my vault of scraps oh vault of scraps and just start building around it and let's see that's little but we don't have to have just four long pieces we can build it any way we need to 
So we could do something like that. And then another something something right beside it. And just keep on and keep on and keep on building. I like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of a sudden, got a little yucky yuck in my throat. And it doesn't matter if any of this is the same width or anything. You just build it up how you want to. Now, I do like making mine pretty much straight across as far as the window goes. But you can do whatever you would like. I like that little collage piece there. And now just some piece at the top. Ooh, I really like that checkered. I wouldn't normally like something like that, but I kind of like that little checkered piece. So what I do is whatever little window you cut out, go ahead and put you some glue all the way around on all four sides. And then you're going to layer it up. Whoops, went a little high on that one there, Melina. Then you're going to layer it up and you'll have to add, you know, just little pieces of glue with your layers. And you don't even have to worry about getting it completely straight at this point because your trimmer is going to help you get it straight in just a minute. Okay, that will be cut off, so I'm not worried about that. I am going to put me some glue right down here just so that stays put. Okay. And then some glue here. I like that. And then I'm just going to glue all the way across. And you can layer these up however you would like. Does not have to be, um, say like on this one, I did this piece over the top of that one, but this piece is under that one. So just however you want to layer it. It's totally fine. And then on this piece, since it's going to go on top, we'll go ahead and ink it up. And I think I shall put it just a teensy weensy bit higher than that one. So we're just seeing a little bit of that music paper. And then turn it over and kind of smoosh all that down. Okay, I like that. Then you're going to turn it over and you can see where your original window is. And you're just going to cut down. Find you a straight edge and cut down as far as you want, as close to your original window as you want, or as far away as you want. You can make up these as big as you would like. Um, maybe right there. And then back under and about there. And right there. Then you flip it over and you see, mm, do I need to cut off some more? Is that good? I think I'm going to cut off just a touch more up top to even things out. And then this side, just a touch. Well, like that. Maybe just a touch more. Yeah. That's some more better. Okay, then I'm going to get what little bitty snippy bits that I won't ever use again. Taking those away and chunking them. Okay, and then I'm going to ink around all of my pieces. And if you've got any pieces that feel loose, they feel like they're going to come up, just kind of squirt you a little bit more glue around. 
and then dirty up any of the inside pieces that you want. If you want to um, ink those before you lay them down, you can, just for the sake of time. I just went ahead and put them down, and I'm just going to go back through and ink around a little bit. So what we started with was a 4x4 four four piece. Now you could cut this down to make it exactly 4.5x4.5. Four, uh, four four I'm going to turn my brightness down just a little bit because that looked a little a little too bright, a little too bright for you for your eyes. Okay, so then we have this. Then I'm going to get my paper bag roll again. You could just use some um, inked or dyed copy paper. You don't have to use paper bag roll. Okay, so I'm going to go three sides. Like that. And I'm just going to lay it down on my paper bag roll and if you're using copy paper just lay it down on the copy paper or the cardstock or whatever it is just lay it down on there and then go back and trim it out it's just easier that way to me if you want to measure by all means measure and do whatever is easier for you okay so then we have this little wonky looking chunky monkey and so you start cutting off your excess copy paper or paper bag roll or whatever you're putting on as your backer and you could even leave this like tear this across and have it where the backing is a little bit taller than the top of the pocket just for some more visual interest y'all I'm feeling I'm feeling good I'm feeling no pain at this very moment and you know why today was a me day <laughs> I don't go in for all of that silly stuff but you know every once in a while you gotta have a little bit of a me day and it was uh, I went and got my hair done and then I went for a massage and it was delightful and so <laughs> I'm just kind of floating on cloud nine now I did have a deep tissue massage so tonight I will probably have to take me some ibuprofen because it's going to be hurting city probably tonight. It usually is when I have my deep tissue massage. But at the time I was having it, it was wonderful. Now for this, like if you um, cut them down the same size, you would just use this and make your little notch. That one I left a little bit taller in the back. So I'm going to try to wiggle my way down and put just a little bit you can you can see my fat neck and everything in there there we go <gasps> hi y'all <laughs> no makeup or anything look here you can see you can see my new hairdo <laughs> okay let's see if we can get that and I know somebody's going to say, don't call your neck fat. You're not fat. Oh, yes, I am. I'm a chunky, chunky, chunky something or other. But you know what? I'm good with that. It is not. I hate, I hate using it like this. Just because I don't know how far down it's going to go. And I don't want it to go into my window. There we go. <gasps> Oh, that worked out nicely. And y'all got to see me. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. We get all silly around here. Okay. So there is that. And then we can do whatever we want inside, on top, out 
here um, decorated I'm going to use some stays on ink this is just like if you have some glossy paper sometimes any other ink is not going to stick well so you need to use some stays on because it is not a water-based ink so it's going to stamp and stay even on your little window there okay and then you can put you a die cut on like I've done here if you want to um, let's do let's see if we've got a flower of some kind to put on there and then we can stamp again too if we want to oh look at that how cute is that yep this way oh i love that let's just put that in there that's a little die cut from this uh organic layers from timmy timmy oh what about that little label right there that's cute okay there's not much going on right there I like that. Let's put it on there, lady. All across the back and put it on there. Anyway, when I was having my massage today, Miss Megan, she's wonderful. And she was finding knots that I didn't even know I had. She was like, Melanie, your shoulders are so tense and your hips are out of line. <laughs> It's like I feel all of that thanks okay I try to treat myself with a massage about every three months ish and of course she's like you need to come more often than that I'm like yeah yeah I can't afford it <laughs> uh, but when I do get to go it's wonderful okay so now when I go in September I'm going in September I already made my next point with her I told her I said that one because I usually get the chair massage just because my vertigo is out of sight but it had not been real real bad lately so I told her when I come back in September I want table massage and I want the relaxation Swedish not deep tissue and she was like all right she likes doing deep tissue because she knows how tense my shoulders are but i was like i want a relaxation one next time so anyway there we go there's a pocket and then this pocket that i made a forehand i've cut some of my wax paper and i'm gonna cut me a little winder out of it I'm going to go about, you always want it a little wider, a little taller than what you actually want seen. So I'm going to go three and a half. And then it's about four tall. And let's do a tag this time. I'm going to move my trimmer. Let's do a tag with a window up the front. Ooh, I think I will do the wood grain at the bottom. I love wax paper. I love the feel of wax paper. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, this is some doubled up book page. And look, I didn't even notice that. Whatever book this is from, oh no, Galena. Instead of Melina, it's G-A-L-I-N-A. And I think I will use that on one of my frames. Let's go with this this way. And maybe hearts at the top. Let's cut it straight across instead of having a torn edge. And let's put some hearts up top. Put 
Is it going to be wide? Is it going to be a wide tag or is it going to be just a little bit fat tag? Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's come down on that some. Go up on that. Let's make the window a little. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. So this is glossy. It's not really going to take my um, ink well, but this book page will. So I want to go ahead and do the inside of that. Oh, I hear a helicopter. Hmm. Now we do have an airport, a really big airport, not too far away from us, about 35 miles. And 35 miles in air flight is not far at all so when it's a really busy travel day and there's lots and lots of flights we hear them big time okay i think i'm gonna put that on the top and i'm gonna put that on the top so let's go ahead and put our glue at the bottom of the wax paper But yeah, we don't get helicopters much, but we do get jet planes quite a bit. Okay, and then my heart's at the top of my wax paper. Just a little bit of overlap. Okay, and then go ahead and ink all that for the inside there. And I'm going to go pretty high on the top and bottom. And get that kind of, kind of straight, kind of sort of, maybe not, I don't know. And then same thing, this side just as tall. Oh yeah, that's a nice big window for a tag. I like that. Okay, let's flip it over. Now for tag, we want to go more tall than what we were doing the pockets. The pockets were more just fat and wide. <laughs> like me. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so let's do... You know that that is the maximum height you've got because that's your shortest side. Your shortest side. So you can't go, you can't cut it up higher than you would have, you know, a little weird spot on that side. So get your straight edge. And if you've got a couple of layers, it'll take just a little bit to get through everything. Okay, and then flip over, and I've got that cut out there, so I've got to go over as far as that so we don't have cut out in our tag. Y'all see how these are coming together now? Okay, and then we can go as low as we want to here as long as we are up above that piece. Alright. And then the last side is this one. And we want to try to go as far in as we did on the other side. Whoops, got a little bit of glue under my guide. I'll wipe all that off after video. Okay, then you look at it and go, whoa, that is like enormous for a tag. So you flip it back over and you cut off a little bit more. You just start cutting off and keep cutting off until you are happy with what you see. See, I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm very, very happy and in a good mood right now. Oh, I like that. 
I know it's really wide and it's really tall. I think the tallness is fine. Let's just trim off a little bit more of the wideness. Okay. And y'all are scraps. Don't worry about using it all. Oh, I like that. It is very tall, but I like it. Um, now we can put a backing on it, or if you want to just see that, then we can just put some type of die cut back behind it. Let's go ahead and trim so that it actually looks like a tag at the top. Ooh, that's going through a couple of layers, so that's why I took it just a minute. See? Look at it, how cute. And I love that. Peeking out from behind. I really love being able to see straight through. And I'll show you how this looks in a journal in just a minute because um, I know somebody's going to be like, mm, how are you even going to use that in a journal? I love the window. I love windows in all kinds of ephemera. I love them. They're so versatile. Or versatile. How do you all say that? Okay, I'm going to ink as much as this glossy paper will take and kind of dirty up a little bit because I got a bunch of white down there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this die cut where I want it peekabooing. I've used that a lot here lately too, the peekaboo stuff. But y'all seem to really enjoy it. I love making me some peekaboo stuff. Now you've got that glue showing down there. I'm not worried about that. It'll dry and it'll be fine. Okay. Um, I think what I will do, since this is so mis <laughs> mismatched back here, I will cover this up. Let's just put some book page all around. I'm going to glue here and we'll just get some book page going on the back to kind of even all that up and make it a little more proper looking on the back. Um, let's see if I got any more. Yep. I do, I do. I'm just going to not go over the window part because I don't want any of this book page showing through on the other side. Now, like I said, if you want to put a solid piece back here, go for it. And then you'll have whatever that solid piece is will be the part that shows through your window. Okay, I'm going to just do a little trim, trim up right there. And then get some more book page and put on the other side. I think that book page might have been from the Vines of Yarnaby. That's the book I've been using a lot of book pages from and for a long time too. When you get a book, take it apart and start using the pages, if, especially if it's a long, long, long book, got a lot of chapters, you're going to be using that book for a long time long time to come. Okay, I'm going to trim off my excess and then we'll get that other, we'll get the top. A little bit there, don't cut your tag. And then just trim off all your excess pieces. 
and this is also going to sturdy this up some because you know you got your window in the middle so it's a little weak there in the middle part but these are so cute in journals i've got some coming up on the front here so i'll need to glue that down let's add glue here and then back here so it's a lot of piecing together but I don't mind that I like that making something from nothing it's my jam I love it okay so then I'm just going to do across there if I would move the book page so y'all can see what I'm literally doing that would help y'all out wouldn't it okay I'm just going to go there right at the tippy top and let that dry for a second I'm going to kind of ink up the back of that die cut that's another thing when you use die cuts but most every one of them are just one sided so if you don't want all that white showing on the back side of your tag you'll need to color that in some who ever thought that as my or one of my jobs that one day I would be coloring to make spare money my side gig Not me, I can tell you that much. Not at all. Okay, so then I'm going to get my ink. Ink all around here. All around the edges, dirty it up ever how you want it. I love that the little um, flower showing through the window and let's do a little tab topper yeah 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 let's do that yep let's just do this one total miscellaneous scrap and can I get another one of those out of that before I throw this away oh yeah if I move it just right I can so there's that scrap piece used and done ink this all around and then I'll show you how I would use this or where I would put this in my journal so if there's a really decorative page in your journal that's got a pocket on it that would be super cute to put it on come over some there we go pretty I love that okay let's do a word phrase of some kind oh that one's cute collect beautiful moments darling and then maybe some stamping I love this grid stamp this um, company out of business stinking I know but I have a bunch of their stamps and I love them I don't know that I've ever even used this one Okay, I've got a little bit of glossiness, but I think I'll be all right because I want most of this to come on this side. So I'm not even going to get an acrylic block. I'm just going to put this down there and stamp me a little grid. Cute. Like that. And up top a little bit. And maybe one more just barely there 
cute grid stamp. And then, so let me get my journal. So if you had some beautiful paper in your journal and you wanted to um, showcase that, so see like that, I would love that and make it a little tuck just glue it on these sides and you could make it a tuck and have more stuff back behind there this bag you could just clip that on to that bag too cute you could you had little bitty short pages like this something like that if your window was small enough i love it this book page here you could just clip that on there. I love that idea. Use some of those little hidden paper clips like we made the other day. And there's your you a cute as a button little tag to go in there with a nice little window. All right, now let's make a frame. We've made some pockets and we've made a tag. Now let's make a frame. All right, so that was wax paper. These were vellum. Let's make um, an acetate one with this piece. And y'all are going to get a little bit of glare, sorry, in advance about that. Um, let's cut this. And we do have these um, Spellbinders acetate in the shop. Let's make it four by four. Maybe we can get a square frame out of this. Four by four. So, y'all, it is so stinking hot in Alabama. Now, I know that some out the Midwest are dealing with lots, lots hotter than we are dealing with. But 96 degrees with a heat index of 104, I think, today is plenty hot enough. I don't need no hotter than that. I'm good. Um, but it is so hot that I have um, a little floor fan back behind me. The one vent that's in my craft room is way, way, way back behind me. <laughs> and so I've got a little floor fan. It's about this big on low. And it's right in front of that vent. And I've got it blowing right on my back so that maybe I can feel a little bit more <laughs> of that vent. But this room is like the hottest of the whole house. So I'm usually not in here very, very much during the summer. I try my best to get my video done and get on out of here because it's too stinking hot, y'all. Man, it's hot. I am so ready for fall. I don't, I'm not wishing my life away. I don't want that. I'm just ready for fall. I would love it. If fall stayed around forever, as far as, <laughs> as as far as the weather, anyway, I would love that. I'm really liking that. Okay, I think, do I want this one under or on top? Oh, I'm thinking I like it under. Okay, so let's put the top and bottom on first. And I'm going to ink across like that. Okay, and then these frames would be so cute to put into pockets and put one of those, if you like those um, uh, creepy <laughs> Tim Holtz portrait people, the old timey, yeah. If you like those creepy things, you could put the frame just you could really the easiest way in the where it would showcase it the most would be um, gluing one of these frames to 
a page and then just slipping creepy portrait guy or girl back behind it. Or you could put any kind of die cut. You wouldn't have to have the creepy people if you didn't like them. Some people love them and that's wonderful. And every once in a while I'll find one that I'm like, oh, that one's cute. I like that one. Mr. 1800s is not as creepy as some of the rest of them, but a lot of them I'm like, mm, no girl, I'm good. I don't, I don't need that. No, 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 thank you. And then, you know, there's some people that are like, oh, those are like the best things ever. And I'm like, great. I love that that's your cup of tea. Not mine, but I love that for you. I'm going to go along with you. I was telling my um, friend that um, does my hair. I was telling her today, the older I get, the more I am not that ride or die kind of person. Ride or die. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm not that ride or die person. If you rob a bank, I'm, going, I'm telling on you. Now, if you need help making sure that your kids are okay or somebody bullying your child or something like that. Now, I'm your ride or die on that. I help you out on that because I've had lots and lots and lots of experience with that, sadly. Um, but if you've done something wrong, <laughs> oh, man. even if you just stole a trash can and told me about it, I'm telling on you. <laughs> I told her, I said, I like my bed and my recliner at my house way, way, way too much for me to, <laughs> for, for me to go to jail for somebody overnight. No, I ain't doing it. <laughs> uh, some um, radio, some music come on of some kind um, while we were at her shop, and I was like, yeah, that, that song is about being a ride or die kind of friend and I said, I'm just not that person anymore so maybe when I was in my 20s yeah not anymore I'm like mm, is it past eight o'clock yeah I just don't see me going out with you darling to go beat up some man <laughs> oh man just don't think I'm up for that. My bed's calling me. Okay. But now when I was young, I had I had friends that I would have gotten in lots of trouble with. I shouldn't have, but there were friends that I would have done that for. Mmm, that is so cute. Oh, I love it just like it is. Beautiful beautiful frame I love that whoopsie really really love that okay so let's find some kind of little beady die cut to put on it ain't that cute y'all and you can see straight through but it's acetate I love it and see, you can tell that I didn't put that piece on straight because it's a little more narrow up top than it is on the bottom. I don't care. It's fine. It's all fine. Um, when Aaron was little, um, <laughs> he was just beginning to talk. And y'all remember, he has autism. So really, when he first began to talk, it was six and a half, seven, eight years old. That's when he first began to talk. And... <laughs> We would ask him, Aaron, are you okay? Like if he was, um, looked like he was upset or hurting or something. And he would go, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And we still say that to this day. It was the cutest little thing. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, he would say. And it was so stinking cute. And we still, like if somebody in the family is like, you don't look like you feel too good. <laughs> Whoever it is. Mama, Daddy used to do it all the time. Daddy would do it all the time. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And they would do their hands. It was so cute. It was so cute when he did it. Okay. I got a little piece of 
narrow washi. I think since that bottom's a little plainer, I'll put that on there. And then I'm just going to fold it over. I'm not worried about the back. I'm fine with that because how I would use this, it needs a little something else on it too, but I'll do that in a second. How I would use this probably is kind of like a little pocket. So I would um, adhere it on three ways and then tuck my little, um, let's see here. Oh, I like these little pink dogwood. So you could kind of like tuck a little something down in there. See how cute that is? Oh, that is very cute. I like that. Very, very cute. I think I might do that. And see, you can even have it hanging off the edge. That pink dogwood goes with that so well. Hmm. Let us use it then, shall we? I think we shall. Okay, so I am just going to, I'm gonna pop these little pieces out of here. And when I get this down, I'll see how long I've been going on yakking, yakking to see if we need to make some more or if this video is done. Let's see. Oh, I like that, hanging off the edge like that. Very pretty. And I'm fine with that, because you know, you're not gonna see the back. Y'all, that's cute. All right, how long have I been yakking? Oh, a little longer than I thought. A little longer <laughs> than I thought. I love these, but I do think I need to make one more pocket. <laughs> Just cause those are so cute and so easy. Um, another way you could make these pockets is if you had a piece, let's say you had a book page and let's kind of even that off. Okay. And move all of these oh I can't wait to get a picture of all those they're so pretty see how I'm doing so my wording's not upside down which it wouldn't matter on this one because it's blank so I could do that but if you are folding up your book page and I showed this in that uh, video I did 20 ways to use book pages in your journals um, it's one of my biggest video watch videos ever just saying um, you can fold it up like that and then you have your wording going the same way as the background you can make a little pocket like that but since this one's pretty much blank on the other side we can do it like this fold up that can be our background so we don't have to worry about putting on um, any kind of bag or copy paper or whatever. That can be our background. We can get a little piece of acetate. Look at that. It's almost the exact same beautiful size. I love that. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to lay that down. We can cut off what we need to but we're just going to glue this bottom part to that so we keep the integrity of our pocket and lay it down like this too if we need to so that's another piece of acetate there then get some scraps to go up the edges and I'm just going to use what scraps I got here on my desk I love that I love using what's already here and not uh, even having to grab anything extra so we would do something like this oh, I like that and we need to even that acetate up it's moved just 
a tad bit because of that wet, yep, yeah, the wet adhesive. Okay, so we're going to lay that down like that and put glue on the flap and up the edge of the acetate. Okay, and then another long piece. I like that. We'll do that one. And I'm okay if it's a little wider. All the way up the acetate side. Come out just a little bit so we can get an even edge on this side. And then you'll want to close these sides up. like that okay and then I think I'm going to stamp across the bottom here I put a stamped dance on that one I think I will do fly on this one and to line that up a lot of times I just um, stamp one letter at a time but for the sake of time I think I'll just try to stamp the whole word <laughs> if I can be satisfied with the placement of the letters nope I'm going to stamp one at a time. I can't stand it. All right, I'm going to use the VersaFine. And do my F there. I've got a little bit of ink off the edge. The L's are so hard because they're just one little bitty line. So it's a little harder to stamp the L. And say I didn't even get it straight, but I oh will. I'm okay. Why? And you know, when you're stamping something that's got a tail, it's not going to line up perfect for you anyway. So there's fly, and I'm thinking a little birdie of some kind on here. Maybe I can cover up my stamp mistake. I like that. Um, this little piece of lace maybe back behind it. Too cute. Yep, let's go ahead and put that down there. And then we can cut off our excess and put us a notch in the top and this is another little way to make an easy pocket with a window and I'll just go ahead and use my fabric glue on the back of Birdie too. Now that is cute right there. Alright so my acetate's a little bit taller then my book page I'm going to just go straight across with my sticky scissors and trim that excess off and then I will flip it over and go do I need to cut some more off or am I good and I think maybe I'm going to hold the little birdie tail out. I think I will go right down the edge here without cutting my birdie tail off and have it hanging off. I like that. And then trim this with my trimmer. 
just so I get it straight. Let's go a little bit wider. I hate doing that because I've cut off the butterflies that way, but it's fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and trim the tip top of that just to get it straight. Oh, this one's pretty. I'm going to leave that at the bottom. I'm fine with that. And mm, we need some inking especially down here. Kind of go over all of that since we've got plain old book page. I think I will round the corners of this one if I can get it to go all the way through because that is some thick layers we're going through right there. I like that. And let's do our little notch. Okay, and then we're going to ink, and I'm going to hold this apart, oop, i got to do some more gluing, I'm going to hold that apart and ink back behind there, so see now we've got a window at the top, it's not in the middle, we've got it at the top, so that's just a little different way of doing that, we need to put the rest of our ink on. And then this little pocket will be done. We need to put something in it. All right, then I'll go around. If I've got any spots that need extra glue. And I do on this one. I think I'm going to, since this is so plain looking, I'm going to tear that across. I like that. A little more tearing on this side. Pretty. Yep, and then I think I've got a die cut piece big enough. That's too tall. Surely, surely, surely. I've got a piece that will go down in there without having to cut another. I love how that is showing on that torn edge there, but let's pull it up so that it's even with the top. And you know, if I had all the time in the world, I would just make a tag or something to go up top so it would be even, but we don't. Cute! That one still needs something, just because it's all... Let's do some of these. Let's do some postage looking stamping on this one. Cancel postage. That would be cute even with the fly like airmail. I could make my life easier. Do that. Cute. Alright, I'm going to stamp off the edge over here. I like that better than this. We're just going to put that in there. Cute little die cut or ephemera holders. That is so cute. Okay, so we'll put these into our journal. Put that pocket there and we could leave the top open and have another little open in there, a little tuck there. Too cute. I love making windows. I love making windows any size and I love that you don't have to have a template or a die set or anything like that to make them. You can make them from scraps, y'all. These have been so fun. So frames, tags, and pockets all with windows and all different shapes and sizes and there's no right or wrong you make it like you want to make it 
this has been a really fun M Scrap Busters, and I've been really, really into it. So, <laughs> oh man, I could go on and on and make more and more and more of these. Thanks so much for y'all sticking around. I'll see you in the next video. If you make some of these, I want to see your windows of any size on your ephemera pieces. So uh, make sure to use the hashtag M Scrap Busters or Melina Pilot. I should be able to find either one. And y'all have a great day. God bless. Bye y'all.